All right, guys, it's Grand Lamb here, and I'm with. Top tier Yu Gi Oh! Oh, really? Yeah. All right, what'd you do today? Top this case tournament. Nice, what'd you play? Uh, Snake Eye, Azamina, Fiendsman. Okay. Let's uh let's look at the deck profile. Yeah. It's mostly pretty standard. So three wanted, three deception, three Diabelle, one ass, and three bonfires. How are the deceptions? Uh, deception's really good, but you really don't need the more copies the later the game goes, so it's just like an extra brick in the deck. Yeah. But it's so good to draw open, like early, mm -hmm. that it's probably worth it. Like, even if you have this combination, it's really good because it helps you, like, on paper it's multiple copies of deception, mm -hmm. but in reality you get to play around different things. They might negate one of them, you still get to resolve the other. It just works out pretty well. Okay. Deception's really good. And the burn effect's really relevant, too. Uh, oh, you used it a few times today? Yeah, yeah, it definitely comes. Right, nice. It's actually really good. And uh, for the extenders, there's three engravers, trap, original, two oats, and poplar. Okay. And kind of temple. Okay. But all of these cards are really only good if any of these get like negated. So if any of these get negated and you have any of these, you're still common. The only thing I've maybe changed is I kind of want to cut the engravers down because this is a lot of cards in the main deck. Mm -hmm. So I might cut engravers because you don't need to draw it really. It's nice to draw, but I'd be fine cutting it and just summing it off of uh, Wrecking of the Moon. Did the second oak come up? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because like when you do your full combo the first time, you go through Ash, Oak, Pop R, Flame Bird, Snake Eye D Bell Star. So to resolve the original next turn for follow up, you need another Snake Eye card in your deck. So you have to search like something. And then if you're not doing that, you have no follow up. Because then, at, yeah, if you summon Ash on your opponent's turn, you want to be able to search this too if you want to do it that way. But you need some type of follow up for that second push. Okay. Birch is also good for that though. Uh, then. Uh, <laughs> for the bricks, Azarune, which is kind of a brick. This isn't really a brick, but it's you a don't normal, want normal summon. summon that? Yeah. yeah, like the deck has too many normal summons. How was she? She's really good. Okay. But you just might draw it. Like there was a game I had Snake Idea, Bell Star, Lurry, this. Flame Burst Temple. So I had to Temple the Snake Idea Bell Star from my hand, Lurry Summon Requiem, Requiem Summon this from my hand, and then play. And that's, like, that sucks. You just don't want this in your hand at all. It's but good. Requiem can summon from hand too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. That's just like an ugly play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's Hallowed as a Mean. Flame Burst and Snake Idea Bell Star. Mm -hmm. That's pretty standard. I drew this a lot, and it's actually pretty good to draw because there's so many. Like, simple spell cards, yeah, so, many so simple uh, you can just go activate that, then chain one of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can just play this early, go straight into like Omni Negate, and then you're good. And what was your total deck count? Uh, 47. 47? Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't decide what to take out last minute. We'll see. Then the rest of the deck is just hand traps, it's like 20. Okay. So there's three Perulia. Oh, you main deck in Perulia, okay. Three Fualos. All right. I was, the idea was just that, like, Snake Eyes is the best deck in a complex game state, so I just want to have more cards. And I think if I have more cards than my opponents, I'm going to win most of those games. Mm -hmm. So I want to play both of these. And if you draw them going first, you're going to send them off of Deception or Diabelle. Like, plenty of ways to get rid of it, so mm. it's not too bad. And going second, it's just insane. Have you ever had a shuffle back? No, no. No? Okay. <laughs> just making sure. The only bad thing is that these aren't real hand traps. Like, you draw yeah. cards, but they don't stop your opponent. So if you get full combo to the point to where you still can't play through it, like they have too much, then you still just lose. It doesn't matter how many cards you have. So I wanted to play more hand traps on top of that. So there's three uh, Imperm. Mm -hmm. Probably the spiciest card of the day was three Impulse. Okay. Three Ash. Two Nib, two uh, Ogre. So did this yeah. ever conflict with anything in your deck? So I noticed you're playing these two anyways, but... Yeah, the idea is you just, you just play these first, and then like you can hit whatever their follow-up is. So you like Nib their board, and then you Impulse whatever's coming up. Or, like, you just use it last. And then it's really good if you draw it with this, because you can destroy the card too. This is like uh, nine, fifteen, so yeah, 19 hand traps. 
Uh, Nibs probably the worst one. I think this is the only one I didn't resolve all day long. It's okay. like, <laughs> you bell puts up an early negate. Yep. This puts up an early negate. Tempai, you're never using this. Like every single deck puts up an early negate. So on its own, it's not good. It's also not good in combination with these or drawing because they still have the negate. So you really need like a with like that, and that's just not happening very much. So Nibs is the worst one, but I still just wanted more hand traps. I wouldn't mind just cutting inside and going playing. Maybe Valor, but or maybe going down to forty-five. Yeah, you know, that. that's the situation too. Okay. There's a lot of cards. The other thing with Impulse is like it's good going second too. Yeah. It also can negate Nib. So if they try to Nib, you can negate that. If you're going second, you can negate IP or like the Centurion. Centurion and stuff like it's just actually insane. Uh, it does negate with the Fiendsmith though, which is another yeah. reason why I want to cut it down. So you'd rather prefer to play the Fiendsmith cards over playing this, maybe? I'd maybe still keep this, but then just cut the fiends. It's like not play engraver except for the one in deck. Okay, yeah. But you, so you just don't draw it. Does it's, only having one in deck like change lines though? Line. Not really. Like even with like like Reba? Oh, because you just can't use any of the effects. Yeah, okay. So That's like fair. even if I go into sequence, I can't use sequence effects. So it's like not even worth it. Yeah, you're extra deck. Kazamina, Fusions. Uh, this one very rarely comes up. It's just super greedy to go into it. The Surge? Okay. Yeah. The Surge is really greedy. Like, you don't always need it. And anytime you can summon this, you could also just summon this. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you can summon this and just play, versus summoning this and getting Ashed, uh, Valor, anything, bestial. If they bestial this, then you can't, like, shuffle it back so you don't get Hallowed Azamina back so you don't get to, like... Yeah. It's just super greedy. So I mostly just went straight into this unless I like had to get that one. The rest is pretty standard though. Uh, Anima, Nightmare, Kida, mm -hmm. IP, SP, Princess, Silo Hat. Uh, Silo Hat's really good. Not everyone plays it, but I think you need it just with uh, Kawaros in the format because like you just need efficient cards into it. Even what Impulse still legal with you. Exactly. What uh what attribute is the Azurun card? Is that light also? It's light too. Yeah. Okay, so, so this yeah. does conflict with Impulse too. Yeah. But it's like if I resolve an Impulse and get Kawaros, then like you know. Hey. Okay. Also, the restrictions only if you do it from hand. So if yeah, you draw yeah. It, set it, activate it. It's fine. But uh, this also not being destroyed battle comes up a lot. Oh, yeah, I people, imagine. <laughs> yeah. People think they can kill you and they just can't. Uh, and Fiendsmith stuff, Moon, Sequence, Requiem, and Desiree. And then uh, that. So Sequence only summons the Desiree, right? Yeah, okay, I, so I don't play like Necroquib, I don't play um, Caesar. Because, like, you don't need it because you have this already. Okay. So it's like, if I have this, I don't need to go into, like, uh, Caesar on top of this. It's just that's too much. Okay. It's not worth playing the uh, the extra deck equipment and the Caesar. Like, the extra deck's already super tight. I imagine this comes up a lot. This comes up a lot more than this, though. Uh, Raging for decks? Okay. Yeah, just, like, extra bodies. You can summon it, like, with Princess, and then you can go into um, Silo Hat. So when I do the combo normally, I go into, like, uh, Princess, then into this summon out something and then make that so you need a fire that you can go into there is also Hida and phoenix but they both come up later in the game if you like don't yeah. automatically win so phoenix comes up more for that and then just like you might princess on the next turn revive this you just have bodies uh, or like revive both of them you have bodies <laughs> Then side deck, three retaliating seeds, yep. which never got used. Three thrust, two cosmic thrust targets. Uh, this is if I went second out side these in. Floodgates and. In case I play Tempo. Yeah. So, okay. That's it. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Sean. Uh, hey. Shout out to Logan. Uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Top Tier Yu Gi Oh! Go subscribe to that YouTube channel. Yeah, we'll think about that.